Let's pray. I hold the grace of heaven, Father Lord. We bow before you this afternoon, Lord. Just pray, Lord, that you would uh, fill us full of the Holy Spirit, Lord, and pray, Lord, that the business we take care of, Lord, is be uh, pleasing unto you. That may, Lord, we always keep the kids and uh, the students, uh, teachers, and faculty in mind, Lord, and pray that we do everything according to thy will, Lord. Lord, just I want you to please remember those in our parish that's sick with cancer and all, Lord, just touch them with your healing hand, Lord, and those that have lost family members, Lord, just be with them as well, and also remember our country and our uh, leaders, Lord, and our, our military as well, Lord, just thank you for Amen. 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 Show me in the page. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let the record show that all board members are present except Ms. Moore and Ms. Long. Executive committee report. I have a motion by Mr. Browning and a second by Mr. Johnson to accept the executive uh, committee report. Um, any public comment? Any board member comment? All in favor? Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. Order of business. Right. Madam President, we've had a request from the combat bus driver in Boston for a stamp for a person of us that would like to add that to the committee of people. This takes a 100% um, board member vote. Show of hands. Okay. I have a motion by Mr. Browning and a second by Mr. Walton to uh, add um, the bus request for uh, to buy a bus uh, for contract uh, for a contract driver. Um, do I have any public comment? Any board member comment? All in favor, raise your hand. Motion You putting that in F1 or where? We, um, it's just was a suggestion. Do you want to put it G1? G1. That's fine. And that was 100% of the board members. Approval of minutes. I move the minutes to adopt it as printed. Second. I have a motion by Mr. Martin and a second by Mr. Walton to accept the uh, approval of minutes. Do I have any um, public comment? I have any board member comment? <coughs> All in favor? Aye. All against? Motion carries. Academics and Instruction Committee report. <coughs> The Academics and Instruction Committee met in the school board office on Tuesday, February 24, 2015, with Ms. Kling and Ms. Long, Mr. Martin, Ms. Moore, and Ms. Carpenter present. Ms. Amy Seward, Chief Technology Officer, presented the committee with a technology update on the computers and programs used in Wynn Parish. Ms. Seward reported that technology bids were open on Monday, February 23rd, with bids being awarded to vendors with the lowest bid meeting uh, specifications. On a motion by Mr. Martin, a second by Ms. Kling, and the committee accepted the bids as present. As no further business, the committee was adjourned. So you move to adopt? We move to adopt these. Second. I have a motion by Ms. Kling and a second by Mr. Walton to accept the uh, Academics and Instruction Committee report. Do I have any public comment? Any board member comment? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Okay. Do we need to take your minutes from now that day? Or is it, is it to be anything separate? I don't think so. I didn't hear you. Okay. Uh, 
do the money off that. Mr. Brandon and a second by Ms. Glingen to uh, authorize the superintendent to proceed on the process to help the driver uh, purchase the bus. Do I have any public comment? Do I have any board member comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? Motion carries. Personnel information. Madam President, in the, uh, your, the packet there is a, a personnel information sheet that shows the uh, employment of three individuals, uh, one bus driver, Trisha South, a Winfield area, Chantel Johnson is a paraprofessional, Winfield Middle School, and Jessica Fluid, paraprofessional, Winfield Primary School. And this is just for informational purposes. I think I've shared that with you at the uh, committee meeting. <coughs> this time, that's the uh, personnel changes that we've had in the past month. Superintendent comments. The first thing I'd like to do, I'd like to share something with you that uh, is really, uh, I think, plus, plus, plus for, for our West Parish students. I have a picture here that I have printed and I can share it with you. It shows students from Winfield, uh, Winfield Schools and Donnie Moon and maybe someone else having to do a, a 4-H advisor. Uh, I'm on have this picture if you want to pass it around you can. These students uh, assisted in serving at the Louisiana Political Hall of Fame banquet back uh, 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 a while ago. I have a, a letter here from the Honorable Ralph Abraham, uh, Dr. Ralph Abraham who certainly we all know is a new elected member of Congress and I'd like to read this letter to you. This is a positive for our students and for our school system. He, he writes, Dear Wind Parish 4-H, I want to send a personal note of appreciation to the 4-H'ers who are responsible for serving the guests at the Louisiana Political Hall of Fame induction dinner uh, Friday night. The service was impeccable and as well organized as any restaurant I've ever witnessed, including here in Washington, D.C. I encourage you to continue your leadership skills through 4-H and you'll become outstanding leaders in Louisiana and America as well. I invite you to visit my office in Washington, D.C. and get a tour of our capital, where leaders of our great nation serve you today. Sincerely, Ralph Abraham. Y'all, whenever we get comments like that and, 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 and uh, recognition for our students, that's something that's well received by all of us. And I just got that this afternoon, and I apologize for not being able to identify the students on that, but. Uh, uh, we can perhaps do that a little bit later. But we're really proud of our kids, and uh, I think that we need to note, uh, note that whenever we possibly can do that. Anyone want to comment on that? Some of you probably was in attendance that that banquet. But that, anyhow, that's that's a plus for our kids. It's great that they, that they, that, uh, excuse me, Dr. Abraham sent that to us, and that's very flattering. But it's just a testament to the fact that year in and year out, those kids perform the same way. You know, not to take anything away from those children in that picture, and I'm so very glad that we have that. And I hope we can get them up here. But all the times that I've been there, our kids have been just exemplary in our professionalism and, and their manners. You have outstanding leaders at when, And that's who we're representing. That's, that's right. the children that all these people, you know, that's really not a Winfield event or a Win Parish event. That, that's more a state event than anything else. And so that's the children that those people from all over this state and honestly from DC, you know, when the Kennedys came and all that, that's what they see is, is those children and, and thankfully that's the impression of our community that they leave with. Those are our students. 
I spoke right. I spoke with him today. I'm going to be in his office in two weeks, and he brought that up to me on the phone. Tell him that was well taken, well noted at the board meeting. That's outstanding. The other comments that I have, I, I, I need to uh, maybe brush clear up a little, little bit of housekeeping business. Uh, I, I, I want us to make note of the fact that March the 30th, which is uh, the last Monday this month, our committee meeting today, is uh, during the week that we're off for uh, for a break. And we have talked about in the past when we set this calendar up, scheduling that committee meeting for the 23rd. And uh, I'd just like to make uh, sure that we're still okay with that. So the committee meetings for the month of March will be March the 23rd. We'll continue to still have the regular meeting in April, on April the 7th. Is there any problem with that board or is that okay? That's a Tuesday. That is, that is a... Tuesday. The 7th is a Tuesday. Yeah, I'm sorry. Did I say Monday? Seventh is a Tuesday. So we're moving the sixth meeting to the seventh. No, no, no. It, it was scheduled as the. Seventh. No, no. That's. I'm sorry. I, we've this, this meeting that I would rotate up on the sixth. I'm sorry. I didn't mean move. Is actually on the seventh. Yes. Oh, we yeah. adopted that resolution in January. Right. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Thank so you. On the twenty-third, that's at five. That's at five. Mm -hmm. Okay. And April the seventh. It's a Tuesday at five thirty. I remember <laughs> I've just got my repeat set for first Monday last month. Are we, what about Memorial Day? That's on a, that's the last Monday of um, I think that was the resolution May. included we, that. Mm -hmm. Because committee meetings you usually have it week prior. We we did. We moved that I think. I think that's already mm -hmm. um, we'll talk to you a little bit about the packets. Did, did all of you receive the email yes. the packets? Was there any yeah, problem yeah. with that? No, I like it. We'll continue to uh, to mail, or just for the sake of safeguard, make sure everybody gets everything, and then sometime in the future we may go strictly digital. I just got my packet for today this morning. I mean, so. You didn't, you didn't you get, yeah, but you got your email. Huh? I don't Did you get it by email? I don't know. I didn't even look at email. <laughs> you have a notification for coming. Okay. Whatever the pleasure of the board is there, we can we'll do both for a while. <coughs> Continue that respect. All right. I want to 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 announce to everyone Wednesday of this week at ten AM that's March the fourth, we have a legislative meeting. Our legislative delegation will be in Wynn Parish meeting with superintendents from this area. Uh, it'll be I think we've got uh, seven or eight major superintendents that are coming and uh, we have three or four uh, of our legislative delegation that will be here. State state delegation. State state delegation. State, state delegation. Uh, and it's our desire the superintendents and somehow I was telling Chris this afternoon, I don't know how I always get the opportunity to do this, but uh, uh, I'm uh, we're hosting that in this parish and what we do is we talk about issues that the legislature will uh, uh, probably hear about and maybe some of them will even uh, submit uh, bills that will be considered uh, in April in the beginning of the legislative session in Louisiana. So uh, anyhow, uh, I'm, I'm telling you this to let you know that if you have a desire to be at this meeting, I'm not inviting everyone and telling you all to come. I, I, I would like to have at least a representative from this board there. Uh, but. If you want to be there, you're welcome to be there. But I need to know, because we have, we're have meeting at the library, the new Wynn Parish Library, and I need to kind of know who all is. How many people Wednesday. Wednesday. This Wednesday. This Wednesday. I'm on mate. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm going to go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, Matt will be there, so we're good. I'll be there. I'll be If you don't mind, before you leave here tonight, make sure that you come in. Let me know personally if you're going to be here. If you, if you don't come or not, so I'll, I'll know. We're going to feel a light lunch at about 11 15, 11 30, something like that. We'll start at 10. And uh, all of you know that the state of Louisiana is facing a, a, a dire uh, financial uh, challenge that will affect education. And we will talk about MFB allocations. We'll, we'll talk about some proposals and stuff like that. We'll also talk about uh, state curriculum. Uh, 
or do you know Common Core is on, on attack big time? And state assessment, the park assessments, uh, there's a lot of things happening along those lines. Uh, we'll talk about Louisiana uh, uh, teacher retirement and some things that's, uh, that's looming. We want to talk about uh, teacher, principal, uh, school accountability. And uh, there's, there's a lot of things happening in education that will go and the legislature will have an opportunity to probably to make some laws along those lines. And we just want to make sure, the superintendents want to make sure that we're, uh, <coughs> legislators know how we're thinking and what we're, we'd like to see happen. So again, you're welcome to be a part of that if you'd like. I just need to know who. Um, sir? Um, the last thing I want to make mention to you or let you know is, is this. We have, uh, we just completed our basketball regular season, basketball uh, in Wind Parish for men and women, girls and boys. And uh, um, we fared quite well. Every, uh, I think every team made uh, playoff status. Is that right, Al? Did I say it correctly? Every boys and girls team made playoff status. Every playoffs. boys and girls team made playoff status. And right now, we have uh, three teams still alive, and that is three boys teams. And uh, one being uh, a team from, from Dodson. Jolene, you want to tell us who Dodson plays the next game, the next round of playoff? That'll be the North Louisiana State Championship game. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock at Weston High School. Tomorrow night at 7 o'clock, Weston High School. Dodson Panthers and Weston Wolves, is it not? Will square off at, at, at Weston. And the game time is 6 p.m. And uh, Atlanta and, and uh, place Calvin. That'd be the Wind Parish Championship. <laughs> <laughs> and Gary, go, you want to expand on that any time? You, you want to be all set side by side over there. Hey, hey. It's always tough when you go to Atlanta. <laughs> They will be playing uh, at 6 p.m. at Atlanta High School. So, premier ball games going on tomorrow night in Wynn in, uh, in Parish and in Jackson Parish. How I many I mean they going to have? I know I went down. I've been to several where the, yeah, where the fire market was there to, to cap head. Yeah. Do we set up a camera and then put it in the multi purpose room over there? And Play it on the I don't know if it's going to be as heavily attended as some of it's, it's not as close on a rivalry as it once was. Well, I remember in 2006, I think, Amy Seward, if that's correct, Calvin High School girls and, and Atlanta High School girls squared up in Hammond, Louisiana. State championship. At the state there. championship. There. And, uh, that was in 2006. Todd, do you remember who won the game? <laughs> you know what score was? I don't, you don't Are you trying to 59 to 50. <laughs> That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else remember that? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
um, to schedule for this year's state assessments with the ACT series of tests that will begin next week, uh, the plan and explore test. And the week following that uh, is the park assessment phase one. And uh, these are important times. And our students, teachers have been working very diligently in preparing for these tests. Week after next, on Monday, we have the ACT. This, the travel, if I say something wrong, holler at me. Monday of week after next, we have the ACT test that will be given to all juniors in Wind Parish and any seniors who would like to uh, try to increase their scores. State will pay for the <coughs> ACT for all juniors and any seniors who want to take it that has taken it before, uh, they can take it again to be at their expense. The next day, uh, work keys, which is another state test for career technicals arena for those who are pursuing a career diploma will be given. And then Tuesday, um, I think it starts Tuesday with the ELA and math, and that'll go through Thursday. Is that ACT taking the March ACT? Just a question, but is that still going to qualify? Does that give them time to increase their top qualification for this year, like the seniors this year? Yeah. Okay. You know, used to, there was a, if you didn't take it by this one or whatever, you weren't in for, okay. What's, what's the date on that ACT? ACT is on that Monday, right? Monday the it's actually, it's Tuesday. Tuesday. They take it on Tuesday, Tuesday. the 17th, which is, yeah. That's for all schools, right? That, yeah, it's for the, it's for the juniors. Oh, and then, juniors. like he said, the any seniors that, yeah. But it's all juniors. Okay. The important thing is that we, we, have, we are fixing to begin the state testing processes that, uh, been so much talk about all year long. And uh, I'm going to tell you from, from my vantage point, I, I feel comfortable that our kids will do well, that we're prepared. Our kids are prepared as well as any children that we could uh, in the state of Louisiana. I think we're going to do fine. We're probably not going to blow the top out of everything, but this is the first year for park across the state, and uh, it's going to be challenging. But I think our children are ready to go. Well, as any are prepared was in and stay with him. And that's the tribute to our, our leadership of this parish, our supervisors and principals and our teachers and their dedication and, and the willingness of students to get on board and parents to support the school. So, uh, you know, there's a lot of different opinions and, and thoughts about Common Core. There's a lot of different opinions and thoughts about Park. But we have, we have uh, chosen the course and we have put our shoulders to the wheel, so to speak, and we have work hard. And I, I feel good about things. Is the park testing, is that replacing what used to be the LEAP? Well, the, the, the testing in the state of Louisiana, Louisiana Education Assessment Program is park is part of that. But yes, park will be given to grades three through eight okay. in English language arts and math. There will, all, there will be uh, social studies and science tests given in those grades also and in, uh, in, in high school, in some uh, class in high school. But all of that is under the umbrella of Louisiana Education Assessment Program, the LEAP, the LEAP okay. process. We used to call it LEAP because that's all we had. It didn't have part. Right. Okay. That's it. Mr. Barber, have you been notified that any students have opted out? We have had some inquiries about opting out. Not many. I think maybe two or three. Maybe two or three. And I think that some who inquired initially have decided that they want to go ahead and Once take they, the test. They're explained that what it does to their school. And you know, just just when we just a comment to be made about opting out, uh, parents have the, the, the right to opt out their kids, so the kids don't have to take that test. That's their, their decision. They got that right. The way the the, the, the statutes are are, uh, are are there is that if a child doesn't take the test, his book will be sent in and what have you, and there'll be nothing in it, so he'll get a zero, and the school gets a zero on the accountability guy. So. That's, you know, that's a little negative, and uh, I, uh, I hope that don't happen. 
But the, the reason we're telling parents that a child needs to take the test is not because the school is going to be zero. That's not the way I like to approach that. I like to let parents know that any information that we can have about your child that allows us to know how good a job we've done of providing instruction and any information you know about your child that, that maybe we can predict and, and, and carve out a program for him in a hurry in the future, that's an advantage to your child. That's a plus, plus, plus. So allow your child to take the test. This will be a, a, a benefit to that child and that family in that child's uh, educational process. Most parents want to do what's right for the kids. The more we know about, I think, knowledge is power. The more we know about a student, the more we know about their uh, what they know, that just helps us help that student better in the future. What is the perceived, I'm glad you asked that, Gary, I wasn't going to ask you, but what's the perceived advantage of not? Because I can't imagine if, if my mother had said, well, I didn't have to take Miss Crane's English final, we're going to opt out of that. I can't see that having been an advantage to my educational career. I think it's more of a uh, response to all of this negative stuff. Oh, I do too. I do too, Gary. I agree. I'm wondering what kind of positive we think that we're going to attain. I was uh, attain. at work and somebody uh, made a comment that they weren't going to let their kids take it. And I said, why? And, well, it's part of that common core. And uh, I kind of explained to him a little bit about what was going on. I didn't explain it as well as you did, but... Uh, but uh, these people, these, uh, this, this thing, my lady was, uh, she saw that it was a mistake to do that, and I believe she, that she changed she her mind. mind. Yeah. Good. But, uh, uh, but it's, just, it's more that. or less uh, uh, a response to misinformation. You know, we were out at the school board, Mr. Uh, Barton and I were at that school board conference when the governor's <coughs> candidates were talking, and there were four of them up there, and three of them was highly critical of uh, of Common Core and was going to do away with it. One of them said, you know, uh, we can do that, but it's going to cost $25 million to replace it. And with a $1.6 billion shortfall, we're going to get $25 million. Right. I don't see any way to, to, to do that. So, but the, Thanks, Bobby. They were, they were, the three of them were dead set against it. It seemed like to me. Well, we, we want to try to seek peace and calm in education because there's lots of turmoil in every every respect. So uh, we hope that there is few people that want to opt out and we hope that everybody is dedicated to doing this, whether they can do on these tests. Um, I, Gary mentioned the fact that I I didn't have that in my, in my notes about certain comments, but. I do appreciate Gary and anybody else that may have. I don't think anyone else went to this conference in Shreveport, but uh, I appreciate him being there and being involved in the processes. And it was a lot of good information that was given. Uh, probably the highlight of the whole conference, as far as my concern, it would be was listening to the gubernatorial candidates in their forum. Uh, and uh, there were several hundred people in attendance. I say probably four or five hundred people in attendance. A lot of people got to hear some of these uh, candidates and things they had to say. Um, we, uh, we, while we, while we were up there the first day, it, it, it come up, it come some rough weather, and uh, that started a whole series of some tough things we had to do last week. And I appreciate your understanding and your support of decisions that were made uh, to be out of school. And, and the public, y'all, I'm gonna be honest with you, the, the J public or the ordinary public don't understand all of the things that had to be done in order for us to to do what we did. And it was not just ice and sleet and snow and frozen roads that caused us not to be in school last Thursday. Uh, that the, the road conditions in Wind Parish was not such that buses could travel over a large portion of parish roads. Just remind you the picture on the page the, the Friday morning of the bus in Rapids Parish that had the, the, the turned over had nothing to do with the ice leaks yeah, snow except that. except the fact that the ice leak snow had prepared the ground. They were just not strong enough. It had been uh, made soupy by all of that, and the bus got off hard service. It turned over. Eleven people, eleven people was injured plus a bus driver. My niece was on that bus. 
Really? Really. How about that? Yeah, so we, we have to make decisions sometimes that's, that's difficult. And I make a lot of wrong ones, I know that. And they're not easy. To, all that process is not easy. And I, I appreciate your backing me and supporting me in what I, the decisions I made during that time. That's all I have in this. Do you have any board member comments? Move we adjourn. Second.